Good mythical morning, Juggies. It's your old pal McJuggernuggets here. You've read the title, first number, Graham's number. This number is made by doing three to the power three to the power three to the power three, right? So three arrow, three up arrow three is three up arrow is three to the power three, right? Okay, that's 27. Three to the power to the power three, two arrows, makes three repeated three times as a power tower. So this, okay, is just what happens if you just make power towers upon power towers 64 times. You get Graham's number. Number, okay and it's a very big number the first number on the list and it's actually the smallest number on this list okay I've literally just put G here because if I was to try to print this number it would literally it'd probably fill every single atom in the universe with a single digit okay it's huge absolutely humongous so we're gonna put this in to be honest I think it's a little bit overrated no nah, you know what I don't think it's that overrated I think it's pretty good it's standard oh you know it, it's a standard big number it's like I I think I probably invented G when I didn't even know about it when I was like 12 years old because it's like it's kind of like it's kind of intuitive you know it's like I was sitting down one day when I was a little kid and I was like right you've got multiply you've got to the power but what's bigger than that and I think I invented basically the same thing as G right so the next number and it's number not number you stupid Americans it's number the next number is Conway's chained arrow notation and this is literally just three 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 four threes in a chained arrow okay now apparently I got this wrong in my last video so please forgive me but this actually is bigger than Graham's number okay and the arrow notation basically it like when you've got three arrows it like multiplies out and then it creates like it, it creates like a whole chain okay this chain looks like it's only four but it's actually the same as like a chain that's like got like a thousand along it, it, it's weird okay but it works and it makes a bigger number than G and I think because of how compact it is and not only it being compact that it also contains numbers in it like there's multiple parameters you could have so many different variety of massive numbers using Conway's chained arrow notations with simple integers I think this goes in S tier even though I don't understand it it goes in S tier well done Conway you are smarter than 12 year old me unlike Graham big sweaty Graham okay so the next number is tree three this number is big it's really big it's bigger than Graham's number and it's formed using trees okay what is the most number of trees that you can have have in a forest uh, such that the trees are made up of nodes and branches such that the, uh, there are three colors okay and you cannot have a new tree that contains one of the previous trees okay that's the basic rules okay of the game and it turns out that if you have tree of one the answer is I think two or one I think the answer is like one or two or something if you have tree of two then the answer is like three and then if you have tree of three the answer is bigger than Graham's number but it's not infinity and that is such such beauty so honestly I, I'm not gonna have any room in S category because it, I, I just want to put this in S category but I feel bad about it because what where are the other numbers gonna go next is Sukug of 13 and this number is it's very big okay it, I think it's bigger than tree 3 I think as far as I remember it's stands for subcubic graph of 13 the subcubic graph number invented by Friedman and uh, it is not very easy to explain so I'm not going to explain it in this video and it, it, it requires it requires mathematical knowledge you know what I mean so it's not a very good number you can't explain it to a 12 year old so what's what's the use okay because let's be real nobody other than like 12 year olds are interested in numbers bigger than a million okay let's be realistic uh, or a billion even nobody nobody in their right mind even needs to use these numbers so why do you have to have like mathematical knowledge to really understand it so really this is a C okay if you don't know by the way C stands for crap B stands for pretty good a stands for all right and then s stands for super duper epicness okay and f stands for failure all right so uh next number is sscg and you might think this is the same as scg but it isn't because it's got another s in front of it okay and that makes it even bigger so this is going in the same category actually we'll put it one higher you know why because why is this 13 why can't it be three all the other ones uses three even g uses three so the fact that this has to use 13 suggests that it's not really that good so I'm going to put SSCG3 one higher I'll put it in B for pretty good let's keep going next is big fat sweaty loader's number now the story behind this one is you see how it says D to the five well this is D function uh, repeated five times the story is 
is that there are a group of nerds who compete in a competition to write code in a set limit of number of characters to make the biggest number possible, okay? And if that sounds fun to you, I am afraid to say that you are also a nerd. So D of five of 99 is basically because this guy, Loader, wrote this code for this D function and it turned out to be huge, like the biggest computable number ever found ever. And he did it in like a, a character limit as well, which is even more impressive. And he had like, he must have had like 10 characters left or something because he, oh sorry, nine characters left because he just used, no wait, yeah, I don't know. He must have had a certain set of characters left. So he just put like D bracket, D bracket, D bracket, D bracket, and then put 99 in there as like, okay, this is Loader's number. So there is a reason that this is 99 and not three, but this number is bigger than G, but I think it's still less than SCG. As far as I'm aware, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so we know it is larger than tree three, which tree three is larger than G and it's also larger than Conway's arrows. So this number is a big dog. And uh, you can also create the number in code, although it will crash your computer. It won't actually display anything. Uh, so, uh, Oh, I'm tempted to put it in S tier. No, no, I've already got others in, in, in S tier. We don't want to fill up S tier, so I'll put it in A tier. Next is the busy beaver function, which is denoted by sigma of N, and busy beaver doesn't actually seem like that big of a function if you look at it at first. Busy beaver of one is like two or one or something. Busy beaver of two is like four. Busy beaver of three is like 20 or something like that. It's, it's like it grows, I'll, show, I'll put it on screen now. It grows really slowly, but it doesn't because when you get bigger than like, I think like 15 or something, it just, it just, it just goes kabloom and it, it, it turns into something massive. And that's been proven by very smart people. I don't really understand the proof for it, but it, trust us, trust, trust the, trust the maths people, okay? It is a big number. It is even bigger than all of the computable numbers, which I believe even includes SSG and SCG, uh, SCG and SSCG, uh, I believe. For example, if we have a busy beaver of a Google, that will probably be bigger than all of this. Probably, I think, I don't know. It's kind of, once you get to numbers that are like this level, it's kind of like even some mathematicians don't really know which is bigger. So it's bigger than these, maybe bigger than these. We'll put it, if you put Google in there, not if you put three in there, it, it, it's it's small if you put three in there. We'll put it, I'm, I'm not, I don't rate it that highly to be honest with you. I mean, it's a non-commutable function. It's not easy to explain. You have to, you have to use something called a Turing machine, which is like a pointer that has different states and it changes uh, based on an infinitely long stretch of tape and it changes from zeros to ones. And it just basically does like binary operations on these on this tape and it's how many ones can you how many different ways can you make one or something like that it's like it's really complicated to explain and uh it's not really that fun i don't think you can't have a busy beaver of three a busy you have to use like bigger numbers you have to use like 19 or 20 or bigger to get bigger than g i think i think busy beaver of 18 is bigger than g or maybe 19 it's like around that level okay so 18 19 is when you get bigger than g Woo. what are we doing next we are doing the next number number is Corporal, which is uh, designed by a guy called Bauer, who created a, something called an arrow, sorry, an array notation. So not an arrow notation, but an array notation. And this notation is even more powerful than Conway's arrow notation. So to be honest, I kind of have to put it in S tier because if it's even more powerful and it's even more like, if it gets even bigger numbers, then we kind of have to make it, you know, it, it's better than, uh, better than you know, stupid old, stupid old Conway. So we've got Bauer's numbers and these guys are big somehow, okay? They are big somehow. I'll put it on the screen now how a Bauer number works, okay? Uh, and they're used by the Googleology community because they're actually one of the best ways of categorizing big, big numbers because even small Bauer numbers, which are categorized by some numbers, are, is more powerful than Conway's arrow, arrow function. And it's also very easy to get like bigger than G, right? So, so even though G is huge, like bigger than anybody can even imagine, Bauer's number is a great way to get even bigger than that with just a few small numbers. Next is the Kirby Paris Hydra number. Now this number is, uh, well, you know like how a Hydra works. Basically, you chop one head off, you get three new heads, okay? Now, if you imagine an N-rooted tree, Hydra of N, an N roots of a tree, and similar to a Hydra, you chop off uh, heads and they multiply according to Kirby Paris Hydra rules, then you basically get the Hydra function of N. And Hydra of four is bigger than Graham's number. Now, in my opinion, because 
because it's not very nice to explain, you have to explain a whole game. Similar to how you have to do it with Busy Beavy, you have to explain a game. You have to explain a game for Tree. Tree actually is up there. Mm. But Tree is cool, okay? Tree is cool because you only have to use Tree of Three. Hydra of Four is not so cool to get bigger than Graham's number, but it also grows really, really fast. Um, it's not my favorite, to be honest. I'm going to put it in D. I'm going to put it in D. D stands for... What did D stand Oh, I didn't even say what D stands for. D stands for Donkey's Bum. Donkey's Ass. There you go. Okay. Next is the Bushels Hydra number of N, which is basically a mod modification of the Hydra function with a, a specific rule change for how you do um, how you do a certain thing. I can't quite remember. But basically, it's much bigger than Hydra, um, and it's probably faster growing than these as well, tree and everything. So I'm going to put it one higher, uh, but still, I don't really like how it's a game. So And also, by the way, we're missing one here. I forgot to print it off, so I'll just write it down. Is Kasai function. The Kasai function uses SDK uh, integral, no, SDK calculus, which is basically, it's almost like a code that um, that, that does like, fun it does operations. So like, for example, you've got S of X and Y uh, does something to these. Uh, it basically, it's a, it's a set of functions. I actually prefer this because it's not a game. You can mathematically define it very easily. It's a set of functions. And so for my Kasai function, which I don't have printed, I'm going to put Kasai of of N a bit higher than Busy B, but I'll put it in A. T no, no, no. I'll put it in B T, okay? Xi of N, which is denoted. How do you put Xi? Oh, it's the other way. Xi is like this, I think, of N. I think it's like that, okay? Next is the good old Goodstein sequence of N, which starts at an integer N and it goes up and down, up and down, and basically it always is guaranteed to terminate at zero, but it is huge. The maximum number of iterations, I believe, of this sequence when you start with N can grow very, very quick, very, very fast. <laughs> Again, you have to do some kind of like advanced maths to actually prove anything with it. So for that reason, it's not going to be very high up here. It's going to be, it's going to be with, with the uh, Buchholz Hydra. A bit better than the Hydra, but you know. Next is the Friedman NK family. N of K, which is the length of a constrained alphabet of K letters, uh, which uh, is uh, basically, it's bigger, N of, N of four is bigger than G, but N of three is smaller than G. And because you have to use a four, it's gonna go with the Hydra function because the Hydra function also has to use a four to be bigger than G. So for that reason, you are trash, bro, you trash. Next is Friedman's <laughs> This is Friedman's weak tree, which is not designed to be the biggest number because Friedman made other trees, like for example, his NK family. Uh, and so for that reason, it's actually smaller than the NK family. And so it's not very interesting. Sorry, Friedman. I mean, it is bigger than G for, you know, like N bigger than 20, but that's a bit like Busy Beaver. You know, it does eventually get bigger than G, but it's still, it ain't that fun. It ain't that interesting. Sorry, Mr. Friedman, but you have, uh, you know, you've got a lot of terrible ideas ideas here. Next are the Ackermann's number, and this is just one of the most common reference number, if you see here. Uh, the fact that you have to use bigger numbers than three. What are you doing, Mr. Ackerman? Uh, Ackerman didn't design uh, to try to just get the biggest number. He designed this, this sequence because it's very useful in science to talk about huge numbers and maths to talk about really, really, really big numbers um, because they are more, more precise uh, than, for example, chain arrow notation or corporal numbers. But, uh, uh, I mean, apart from the fact that it's useful, it would be in B tier. But I'm going to put it in A tier for now. We'll keep you in A tier for Ackerman. Last but not least, in fact, it's really not least, it's probably the biggest number here, is Ryo's number, okay? Ryo, right, was in a competition, the story goes. It's, it, it might not actually be true, to be honest. But the story goes that Big Ryo was in a competition with somebody and they were trying to make the biggest number ever using mathematics, okay? Pure mathematics. They had to write down a mathematical statement which defined find a number somehow that was the biggest ever. Now, Ryo knew something called second order set theory, which I don't know. I only know the first order one, the normal one. Second order set theory, which somehow you can define things like uh, the biggest number of, the biggest number you can create with n number of symbols in uh, some world of universe of set theory. Basically, Ryo's number is the biggest number you can make in the world ever with times infinity, blah, blah, blah. But 
but it's actually formally defined and it's actually not infinity, okay? Somehow this guy managed to formally define like the biggest number ever. Uh. So this will be basically always be king, okay? I mean, you, you can't get bigger than Ryo's number. Like Ryo really put the icing on the cake. The guy, the, the guy really put the cherry on top, okay? You can't possibly ever define any function that will ever beat Ryo's number. And, but I do, th mm, I'm gonna put an S tier. You know what? I'm gonna put an S tier. It's mathematically defined. It's rigorous, it ish. Uh, so S tier, it's the biggest one. It's gotta go in there. Okay, so this is my ranking for all of the big numbers. Before you put in the comments, oh, you forgot to mention this number. There's infinitely many of them. Don't, I don't have to mention every one. These are like the big ones, okay? So click here, click down there, click somewhere, click everywhere, click, okay? Click somewhere.